pieces off the trees. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pieces of the Trees. Welcome to my channel, everyone. Um, all of my faithfuls, as I take this journey, I'm very appreciative of all of you. It's been a while, I know. And for all of my new subscribers, welcome. First of all, let's start out on what is quite obvious. Trust me, I'm looking kind of, you know, <laughs> let me just be real here. I have not been able to go to any hairdress or anything in a while. Um, we have had here in Jamaica three consecutive weekends of lockdown on curfews. So, of course, that does hamper um, any time I would have and I do work in the week. So, yes, a little mash up and I also have a little resident pimple here on my nose. Just sitting there and he's just sitting there. It has to be a man just sitting there not going anywhere. But guess what? Forgetting all of that, I wanted to come and check in with you guys. Say hello to you. Give you a bit of an update about the graces. And guess what? It's with all of this lockdown going on. I kind of just felt in the mood that, you know what, let me just do a nice Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Show you tidbits of how I go ahead and do mine. Of course, I was raised by my grandma. And I have watched her many times doing it. Um, I just want to make a few pointers here before going to the pudding side of it. Normally for my grandmother, I see it done on a coal pot in a Dutch pan and all of that. You know, with head at top, head at bottom. I do it in the middle with this fire on top of the, the, the pudding on a piece of zinc with coal and everything and the bottom. But I don't have that available to me now, so I actually bake mine in the oven. Alright? Um, so I'll show you that. But before I go to the actual meat of the video today, which is really the potato pudding, just want to give you a small update and let you know that, yes, I've, I'm still doing my monthly visits to my ortho um my spaces are closing up more now i am going to show you a before photo as well as an after what it is now i'm going to show you the after now um the last day i think i might just insert them side by side if i can figure it out today but just to let you know this here two spaces at the front that they were like this they are now like this I'm not quite sure how I feel about it because it's kind of been a little staple of mine for years and now I thought they would have been the last ones to close but guess what these things are fully closed these two yep the others are slowly coming along um in terms of my alignment on the left side I meant I'm not quite sure I mentioned it before but on the left side of my top row they are now going over the bottom row. I don't know if you can see, but look. Here. And as you know, that's how your teeth should be untold for my ortho, my dentist. That it should go over. But it's now taking place on the left. Not yet on the right. The right side, this side I think is... I don't know, I'm not an expert on it. But I think this side is moving much faster than this side. Or maybe that's how he actually is doing it. Um, but so far so good. I am still pleased with what is happening. Again, I will always say this in all my videos that the worst part of it is the financial side. But because it's not a forever thing, then I have to go through this. All right. Um, so what inspired me to do my Jamaican sweet potato pudding? Boredom is the first thing I will not lie to you. I'm home. And on the weekends, and I have nothing to do, and I'm trying to find things to occupy myself. Of course, we have a curfew order that's active. We don't know if it's going to be extended, but it has been three consecutive weekends. And with the Easter holidays, the holidays that um, just went by, I don't eat raisins. All of you, you're like me, I can't do raisins. So, Easter bun and cheese, I was not a part of it. No. And so I figured, you know what, I have not done a pudding in ages. And so I thought that I would, you know, go ahead and get a few products. With this pudding, I think it's one of the cheaper puddings. It doesn't call for a lot of items. 
and most of the items you already have in your cupboard like right like flour and sugar you would also have some vanilla so the most that you really may might need to go and buy if you don't already have it is the yellow belly sweet potato that's the one that i use and if you don't have any dry coconut um and i'm saying dry coconut because that's what i use the old school jamaican but the truth is that now in modern times people are using coconut from the tin the tin ones maybe even the powder ones i actually went old school and bought the actual coconut oxytoad cut it up no i didn't grate it <laughs> i blended it but because i didn't grate the potato but i could do both of them you know so i hope you enjoy this video it's a little different i'm just showing you how i do so that not just not another little piece of me or something else that i like to do i like to bake and hopefully in the future when i'm at a place where i am more comfortable in terms of my kitchen area and all of that space is how i want my house to be in the future right so then i'll do more of it and show you what i can actually do so hopefully you enjoy this video let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this kind of videos um and also how do you do it let me know all right so as i was saying um for my jamaican potato pudding today i'm using three pounds of yellow belly potatoes sweet potatoes that is i'm also using one whole coconut dry coconut that i've hung out i'm using one pound of yellow yam and yes i prefer to use the yellow yam and i'm going to use a cup of flour just regular flour sugar um i also have my spices and as you can see from my spices i i prefer to use the benjamin's brand i don't know i think they're better so i'm using um benjamin rose water also using nice jamaican island spice mixed spice for baking i'm using benjamin's vanilla i love their vanilla flavor and i'm also using benjamin's almond essence flavor and of course regular nutmeg <laughs> so we will be back and i'll show you just how i make my jamaican potato pudding So this is me basically just doing the old school style of grating the potato. I see you have a bit of potato. Um, I hand picked this when I went down to the market already this morning. So as you can see when you're gratering it changes color. So when you do it, it's bright. But the moment ear touches it, it changes color, but it's quite fine. Nothing is wrong with it. So this is like maybe the hardest part of making the potato pudding. To me anyway, you have the option of using a blender. I've tried it with the blender before, as I said, and too soft. So this is it. So I'll show you other parts of it, okay? Later. Okay guys, so what I have here is I actually grated my potato here today, right? So it is, I have here three pounds of yellow belly potato and I actually grated with it one pound of the yellow yam, right? And so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to combine the potato with the yam. And if you can look at this, can you see the consistency? Can you see what the yam is actually doing already? 
it's like it's acting as a binding agent if you can see i hope you can see yes um interesting thing so this potato was grated right some persons they will grate it and then they will put it in the blender because it is said that when you grate it you know you get the strings in it and i'll be honest i don't mind because no lies i don't have the time i cannot sit and grate and then put it in the blender that's a lot of work for me i am not up for that sorry you see i'm going to blend it i have baked it with the blended uh when you bake it blend and blend it's a bit too fine for me soft hard to come together when you put it in the oven so for me i decided great and that's it i'm not gonna put anything in the blender so i may have some strings in mind i don't mind this is old school all right so as i look at this look at this see how it, it comes together yes what i'm going to use the method i'm going to use now is i'm going to actually add the liquid why yes you can add the flour mixture to it and then you see how much liquid what i prefer to do or what i'm going to do no it's not a preference it's just what i'm going to do now i'm going to add my my spiced coconut milk to this then i'll add the flour why that will kind of tell me how much flour i need to do because right now i have sifted about five um four cups of flour or five i believe and i want to see how much of it i'm going to use here is my spiced um coconut milk on this side basically what is in, in this this is four cups of coconut milk that i actually bought the coconut and blended it to get the juice and all the spices i showed you before it's in here so i have the vanilla i have my rose water almond essence i also added here the cinnamon as well as nutmeg and i also added the mixed spice all spice to this so this is very flavorful and i added two cups of sugar to this so i decided to just sweeten everything and do it this way it is a way to do it oops it's spilling and then i will add the flour to it um so now i'm going to go ahead and just add the mixture let me just mix this a little bit more and like I said, this is just the yam and the sweet potato that I am getting all banded together. These people, I know of a fact it can be done so many different ways. I know that this is just one way of doing it, all right? My way. Like I said, I don't eat Easter buns. I don't eat raisins. So I wanted to do something for myself. And of course, the greedy boy I have here, yeah. Um... We will probably eat most of it anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just add a little at a time. And then I'll know how much flour I want in it. Oops, oops, oops. And I'm just going to mix it together. As I was saying before, you know, people use that sheen. I don't think white yam is good to use. So I will use yellow yam. And to be honest, some persons don't use any yam. I've seen people making sweet potato with cornmeal. <laughs> I am not a believer of that, to be honest. Cornmeal pudding or cornmeal pudding to me, sweet potato is sweet potato. That's me. Alright, so... You can use between three to four cups. In here, I actually have four cups of coconut milk. I think I'm going to use all of it because I actually have two baking things so that I want going to use today. I'm going to use all of it because I want two, not one. Still, the consistency is not bad here. And to me, this will tell me, I'll give me a gauge as to how much flour I need to use. all of it there okay when I do it this way and I have all the liquid in that I'm going to use because I'm not gonna add any more liquid right 
this tells me I have more though, yes, but for me four cups is okay for my three pounds of potato. So this now I know the, 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 the consistency of it that I want. So now I'm going to add some flour. So you see where it is? Now I need to add some flour. Thing is that you don't want I don't want to say you don't want. I don't want my potato to be too thick. Right? So I'm not very enough. So let me start it one. This flour I'm using is already pre-sifted. It's one cup. Two cups. So let's start with two cups. This is why I really couldn't say to you guys, oh, I use two cups of this. You see, I'm no professional at this to tell you exactly how much. For example, this spice is for me, purely to taste. Purely to taste, I'll be very honest. Um, I had two of the native coconuts that I blend in. Two whole coconuts. I did not use all of it, the liquid I blend in. I really did not. This is just to really get out most of the flour. You want not most or all of the flour. You want to get the flour out. Right? So what I'm doing in order to not bore you, I'm just going to continue mixing my liquid and I get the real consistency. Then I will come back. This is really my finished product. The consistency, it's not too watery. It's not watery. It's not overly thick either. Right? So for me, I really just use, I use four cups of flour in this one. So I'm hoping that this consistency is just right. See? So I'm hoping this is good. Yes, I did say hoping because trust me, no matter this is perfect about one year one time next time a little different so for me this is it and it smells lovely so i'm gonna pour them in my baking tin now which were pre-greased i should also tell you that i did put a little bit of salt one teaspoon of salt in my flour mixture i don't know if i mentioned that before but i did um, so i have two things I'm going to put, you know, like that soft top that you get. You can either just make like a little slush thing that you can wait until the pudding is made, then you take it out and put it that on the top if it is necessary. I'm going to do that. Um, another way is that you can put like little small pieces of butter on top of it. Um, for now, I'm not going to put the butter thing on top. I'm going to bake it first. And I'm going to make a little slush using a little bit of the coconut milk that I have left um, to give it that moisture. Did I say slush? <laughs> Alright, so right now I can't remember the right name. So this is it too. This is the amount that I got from three pounds of potato, which is a what a two pound in and a one pound in. Yeah. So I'm going to bake these. Um, my oven is, is preheated already, 350. And I'm going to give that like an hour or maybe 50 minutes and I'm going to look at the top, see if it is all I want. And if not, then I'll add my little coconut juice mixture that I'm going to put together, which is really just a coconut juice and a spice. That's it. And maybe two little pieces of butter, I don't know. But I will let you know. I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, so guys, this is the finished product. Um, they were in the oven for approximately one hour then i took it out and put on the little mixture at the top but the coconut milk i had was not that much to be honest i had a little quarter of coconut milk which i put some of the same spices in and i put it just a tad bit of the um margarine just a tad bit in it 
um, on top of it to give it that um, texture at the top. So right now, I did put it back for about 20 minutes. I think next time I might do 10 or 15 minutes because at the sides here, as you can see, at the sides, slightly, just slightly burned, slightly, well, yeah, slightly burned, but still perfect. So um, I cannot cut it yet. I cannot cut them because, of course, as you know, with sweet potato pudding, you really have to give it at least three hours or more to cool. So after it is cooled, I will cut it and show you a slice um, how it really looks. It does look good, though. I'm kind of proud of this, how it comes out. So I'm hoping that it looks even better when it is cut and tastes good but i'll do the taste for you a little later okay, okay. so here i am showing you a slice of the pudding which um has been out of the oven now for about four hours so the texture is good as you can see it is beautiful i am so so pleased with it the taste of it it is sweet but it is really not overly sweet it's not fresh or too sweet to scratch the back of your throat is just right for me and I, I, I wish you guys could taste it but you could try it at home it is a very easy method that i use and it came out beautiful all right so i hope you enjoy this video please remember to share my video subscribe um, and like and please make a comment on it tell me if you like this video and if you'd like me to do some more of these thank you have a great day bye